Wow! Holy shit! That's amazing! Spilky! 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 Eclipse time! Hey, it's eclipse time. 2017. The solar eclipse. Now I'm in the Fraser Valley, so we will not see total totality. The path of totality is the path that's the path in which the moon travels and it will be in line with the sun blocking the light out very much like an umbrella. That's totality when the complete moon is uh, over the sun. Uh, don't I have a joke for that? I, I don't got nothing. The last time this happened in North America was in 1979. Uh, can we get a clip on how the people were reacting back then? Many people believe that the solar eclipse is a bad omen. Fetuses will die. Food will turn bad, and Donald Trump will start a rock band with Marilyn Manson. The beautiful Muslims, the beautiful Muslims. The beautiful Muslims, the beautiful Muslims. Now this light is very dangerous. You don't want to look at it for more than 10 minutes next time one of these happens. Yes. No one's ever going to see one again. One thing's for sure, optometrists are going to have a great day tomorrow. Someone said you actually can find one similar to this every 18 months, although I don't know if there's one this big, or maybe the popularity is that much heavier because it's the United States. Now we got some footage here, we, we got a few clips here from some people. Greetings and welcome to the Modern Alchemist channel, I'm Aubrey Forrest, the Modern Alchemist, and we are in Woodburn, Oregon, right? Woodburn? Woodburn. The light around the moon from the sun, when totality has been reached, is called the Sambuca. Oh, what? Oh, sorry, I've just been informed by Carlos that it's actually called the Corona. Um, it, it, it's, it's really bizarre. Uh... I, I, I've never seen anything quite like this. And, and the sun is dimming out. I can, I can feel it. It's getting cold. It's actually getting cold. Um, there's a chill. There's a definite chill in the air. Oh my gosh. Wow! Holy shit! That's amazing! Oh my god, that is the coolest thing ever! Oh, wow! Wow, we're gonna talk about synchronism later, you guys. We're experiencing it. This is synchronism. This is amazing. There it is. It's up there. And that's that. Oh, wow. Wow, that is the most <laughs> amazing thing. Wow. Solar eclipses occur between sero cycles. Similar solar and lunar eclipses recur every 6,585.3 days. That's 18 months, 11 days, and eight hours in a bowl of golden grams. Scientists call this length of time a sero cycle. Saros. Two eclipses separated by one sero cycle are similar. They occur at the same node, moon's distance from the Earth is similar, and they occur about the same time of the year. Uh, sero cycle, so remember that. Sero's, of course, not meant to be confused with bad guys from the Lord of the Rings. I think I got that right. This is all kind of new to me. Also, animals, uh, they act weird because the sun, essentially disappearing, uh, can disrupt their natural internal clocks. So they might do some weird stuff. They might be like, Meow, I need to sleep. What's going on? You know, you're going to see emus running around in the streets of Chicago. You could raise some emus. Emus? Really? Oh, that's pretty crazy. All looking at the total eclipse when somebody shouts, Look down, look down. And we do, and we're surrounded by llamas. I wonder how many animals actually go blind or develop some kind of eye trouble. I know their eyes are different, but I mean, who's to say that they're not walking around and going, hey, you know, there's the sun and what's going on? And they're looking at it, maybe staring. Crows, all kinds of birds falling out of the sky. It's okay with some of these things happening all the time. 
there's a group called the Pomo that think they're an indigenous uh, group. Uh, they're they're actually the creators of Pornhub, obviously. Pomo. They uh, they think a bear took the, a bite out of the sun, <clears throat> so naturally their term for solar eclipse is sun that got bit by bear. Many people still have, of course, superstitions. We talked about religious people and bad omens. Uh, there are people out there in England that were betting that this is the second coming of Urkel. Don't look at it, man. What are you doing? Like, look, you, sh you should set it up on something like this. There. Yeah, it's getting better now. I hardly see anything now other than what I'm supposed to see. <laughs> that is bright, though. Hold it. I don't even want to look that way. Holy shit, this is crazy. This is so weird. I ain't looking that way. I know this is a... I don't know who I'm supposed to call about this. How the heck do I know I'm looking at it? Oh, no. That a whole full head. Holy shit, you can How the fuck I don't know what I'm doing. Am I doing this right? Like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I've never done this before. I didn't know what to do. I thought it was going to be later in the day. I was drunk the whole weekend, so I totally missed the details on the time of it. I just wasn't ready. And the glasses, that was way out of line. I was never going to be able to get those glasses. So I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to peek at it or, you know, maybe a little peek, but I was just out of the corner of my eye, just like a little, not, I was like nothing. I didn't want to look at that. I turned backwards and was filming like that, sort of just peeking out of the corner of my eye into the view of the camera to see if I was getting it. And I did get the sun. I tried zooming in, but it turned out I, I went off course. And I feel bad that I didn't really get to experience it, even though, you know, I was outside. The change of temperature, I noticed. The weird darkness. It wasn't darkness like it was, say, 7 or 8 in the morning kind of darkness, or it was a bit of cloud coming in, or even fog. It was darkness like in some kind of Twilight movie. No, 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 way too gay. Harry Potter, or maybe Lord of the Rings. It was like a weird kind of darkness. It was like end of the world stuff, a bad omen.